So if you have point P along this spiral, at that point P, meron siyang offset distance X, distance Y, spiral angle, and length of curvature. So if this P is located doon sa um, end ng spiral curve or dito, um, X, X or offset distance will become the XC or the maximum offset distance, YC or the maximum um, distance, YC, and L is equals to LS, and meron tayong long tangent and spiral tangent. So sa simple curve, isa lang yung equal yung tangent natin sa uh, both side. But sa spiral curve, since varying radius natin, meron siyang long tangent and spiral tangent. So from the figure, this is 90 degrees. So using sine law, you can find that or, or yung Sokatoa na ano um, formula. So we can find that um, short tangent is equals to xc over sine phi s. And also lt is equals to yc minus st multiplied by cosine phi s. So the um, spiral angle S. So the formula ng spiral angle natin. So the formula ng spiral angle natin is L squared over 2RC LS. So this is uh, spiral angle at any point dun sa spiral curve. But if the point uh, is at the end of the curve, so L will become LS. So, this is LS squared over 2RC LS. So, mag-cancel out yung, uh, yung LS. So, magiging spiral angle is equals to um, L over 2RC. So, yan yung or LS over 2RC Also, the offset distance is equals to, at any point of the uh, curve, is L cube over 6RC LS. But if L is equals to LS, so we we'll cancel out to the lang. So, the um, XC here, or the, or the offset distance at the end of the curvature, or spiral curve is equal to LS squared over 6RC. So, ito yung mga formula if considering yung total length ng or yung L is equal to the total length ng spiral. So, considering a point M at the midpoint of the spiral, so that means LS is equal is LS is or, or L is equal to LS over 2. So, uh, the uh, central angle, uh, spiral angle at the midpoint of the spiral is equals to LS over 2 squared over 2RC LS or equal to one fourth of the LS 2RC. So this means that at the midpoint of the spiral, the spiral angle is one fourth of the spiral angle where L is equals to LS. So you know, so we think kanina. And the offset distance at the midpoint of the um, spiral is equal to the length at the midpoint over 6RC LS, where LM is LS over 2 cube over 6RC LS. So this is equal to 
one eighth of ls squared over six rc or xm is equals to one eighth of v offset distance at point sc setong so xc so that is xm and um, offset distance at midpoint and the um, spiral angle at midpoint. Now, um, at the uh, distance approximately LS over toward the midpoint, if you project, so this is the um, uh, uh, connection of the spiral angle and the simple curve or the uh, simple curve. So if you project that simple curve here, the curvature niya. So at this point, at the midpoint, the offset distance here is also equal to the distance from the midpoint to the uh, circular projection. So this is the um, uh, term as length of throw. So um, length of throw is length of throw is equals to two times the xm where xm is 1 8 of the xc so this means that the length of throw is 1 fourth of the xc so ito uh, ito yung length of throw ito siya. so this is this distance so that is the twice the xm but if given yung xc that is one fourth of the XC. So this figure is the combination of a spiral curve and the simple curve. So uh, with this new combination, meron na siyang, this is the point of intersection and this is the spiral angle of intersection. So the spiral angle of intersection is simply equals to the IC or the uh, uh, intersection angle of the simple curve plus twice the deflection angle or yung um, spiral angle ng spiral spiral curve so this is the intersection angle IS ng spiral curve so ito siya so this is the IS so spiral tangent, this distance is uh, length in derivation, yeah, so, but we'll be using only the formula. So Ts is equals to Ls over 2, this plus um, rho plus Rc tangent Is over 2 and the external distance Es is equals to rho plus Rc second Is over 2 minus Rc. So ito yung mga formula natin. So desirable or minimum length of spiral. So from the previous formula, C or the rate of change of normal acceleration is equal to P cube over LR. So where um, L, L, so uh, we, we, will, we will set that L is equal to LS or the uh, desirable length of a spiral and r is the is equals to rc or the radius of curvature and v is equals to k over 3.6 where this is the design velocity so in meter per second so this is a standard value and k is the design velocity in um K is the design velocity in kph and C is the rate of change of normal acceleration. So LS is equals to K over 3.6 cube over CRC. So LS is equals to 0 0.02143 k cube over 
CRC. So in a highway design, the rate of change of uh, normal acceleration is normally controlled to lessen the centrifugal force for pushing the vehicle away at, at the uh, average speed of 2 feet per second cube. So ito yung, uh, in a highway design, ito yung standard value ng uh, C. So if you substitute this equation here, or this uh, value sa equation na to, we'll find that LS is equals to 0 0.02143 K cube over, so this value is approximately 0 0.6096 in meter per second cube, so 0 0.06 uh, 6096 RC, so this is equals to 0.0352 k cube over rc so which is which is usually taken as 0.036 k cube over rc so this is the desirable minimum length of spiral given the um, design velocity and the radius of the Curvature. So impact factor or the uh, centrifugal, centripetal or centrifugal ratio. So if you have a vehicle moving in a uh, curve, so kung napapansin nyo sa mga racetracks or even sa mga highways, pag yung highway is pa curve siya, medyo naka-elevate yung uh, isang side. So, yung sasakyan is nakatilt siya at a certain angle theta. So, if, if this is the um, center of gravity or center of isang object or yung vehicle, so um, ito yung magiging free body diagram na. So, meron tayong weight, meron tayong um, normal force which is perpendicular dun sa uh, plane, meron tayong uh, uh, force ng uh, friction and the um, FCF or the uh, centrifugal force. So, um, from the figure, tangent theta plus phi is equals to the FCF over the weight where FCF or the centrifugal force is simply equal to the mass times the normal acceleration ng isang anong uh, object over the weight is mass times gravity. So, cancel out yung uh, mass. So, an is equals to um, v squared over r over G. So, ito yung magiging value ng tangent theta, where this is the impact factor or tangent theta plus phi equals to v squared, uh, v squared over r over g or v squared over gr. So, this is the impact factor. Now, super elevation is the um, measurement ng inclination ng isang road. So, say if this is the length of the road, ito yung tinatawag na super elevation or yung gaano naka-elevate yung isang section ng road. So, to obtain the design maximum super elevation, we set the angle friction, angle of friction or ito as 0 degrees. So, by doing this, we are neglecting the resistance offered by the friction between the, the tires and the road, treating it as a factor of safety. So, if phi is equal to 0 degrees, 
So, yung formula natin kanina magiging tangent, theta na lang. Uh, is equals to v squared over g r. So, super elevation is the transversal slope of the road. Then, E is, so ito, this is tangent theta. So, tangent theta, so magiging E is equals to V squared over GR. So, expressing V in terms of K in kph and G as 10.81 meter per second squared. So, magiging K over 3.6 squared over 9.81 times R. So, yung value ng E or ng super elevation is equals to 0 0.0079 K squared over R. So, yan yung super elevation natin. So, where K here is the design uh, velocity in kph. So, K is in kilometers per hour. And uh, R is the radius of curvature or the, uh, of the center curve and E is the super elevation. Okay, so these are the summaries of summary of formulas. So, Meron tayong spiral angle, deflection angle, offset distance, the y distance or the distance from TS to any point on the spiral, along the spiral tangent, the relationship between um, spiral angle and length of curve, uh, or length of spiral, length of throw, spiral angle of intersection, length of spiral tangent, external distance, rate of normal acceleration, uh, desirable length of spiral or the uh, minimum, desirable length, impact factor, super elevation, short tangent, and long tangent. So, as long as you have these formulas, madali lang yung <coughs> pag-compute ng spiral uh, problems. So, gagamit ka lang ng formula. So, mahaba-haba yung lecture natin. So, um, this should be your assignment. So, the length of a spiral curve is 100 meter with radius 250 meters. So, this is LS and this is RC at the central curve. The tangent passing through TS and uh, ST is intersecting each other at 60 degrees. Or the IS. So, first is determine the offset distance from the tangent on the first quarter point of the spiral, so meaning L S is equals to L over 4, so ano yung X dyan, and then determine the spiral angle on the third quarter point, so this is L over 3, so determine the reflection angle at the third quarter point from the tangent to the spiral and at TS, determine the length of the short tangent, the long tangent, the throw for the spiral curve, the length of spiral tangent, external distance, and what is the maximum velocity that a car could pass through the spiral easement curve. So using those formulas, you can solve this uh, problem. So these are the references. So this ends our module 5 and thank you for listening.